Larry here with Jerry Brown Travels. Larry here. Hey, in this video, what we're going to show you, we're going to talk about what's here. Banking, medical, doctors, medication, transportation, uh, how to rent a house, what to look for in renting a house, utilities, how to pay utilities, maid service. We're going to give you a general idea of what's here. Now, people have asked, on our YouTube channel these questions and so what I thought I'd do is I thought I would just make this quick little video and blast it out to you and let you know what is happening here and what you can expect. Number one is banking. A lot of people are concerned on how they're going to get their Social Security, their uh, uh, pension checks, any money that they have, how they're going to work it down here. What you do is just keep your bank where you live and deposit all your checks in there. Get a debit card and come down and just use that. The other thing that we do, we recommend, is we have a card with Charles Schwab and so there's no foreign transaction fees, there's no bank fees, and that saves us quite a bit of money. So use your bank where you live, deposit your money there, come down and uh, use your debit card. Two. How about finding a place to rent? Okay, people come down here and they want to find a place to rent. A lot of times they see our videos and we have some at $350 a month. And you got to remember, that's the low end down here. And uh, it's not like there's going to be a lot of them. And what seems to happen, you need to go into a real estate office, we recommend, every other day. And you need to tell them what you're looking for. They're not going to respond. They're not going to, they'll take you all your information, but they're not going to get back with you. They have so many people looking down here. So go in about every other day, talk to the same real estate agent. Don't be shy. But now you have to remember too, when you go in, especially if you're looking for a $450 a month rent, there's going to be very few houses at that level in there. So they may say, no, we don't have it. And if you're down here on a limited time, then you, you then you're in a trouble there. What we have done in the past, we've been down here and we've done sometimes 30 days to find a place. They have them, the deals are here, but you do have to do your due, due diligence and stay consistent. If you're down here for a week, you're going to have a trouble. If you go in and you say, hey, I've got $800 a month and up to $3,000 a month, they're going to show you some inventory. But uh, the other thing, you can't expect them to take you around and show you uh, real estate, especially if you're not going to do it right now when you're here that you're going to put money on it. They're not going to waste their time with you. So don't come down early expecting you're going to find something uh, and you're going to ask them to hold it for four or five months and when you get down then you'll rent it. You would need to put money down right now. Three. Now you've rented a place and what you can expect. Okay, you're going to need to pay one month's rent. You're going to need to make a uh, cleaning deposit and you're going to have to pay for utilities. So let's say you rent a place at $600 a month. You're going to pay $600 for the rent. You're going to pay $600 for a uh, deposit and then you're going to pay the utility bills. If you're renting from a rental agent, you're going to leave a deposit with them, let's say $300, and then out of that $300, they're going to take out your gas, propane gas, your electric, your uh, Wi-Fi, all of these things in there. So uh, you can expect that by using a real estate agent, we've done that, we like that, because they do the service for us. So uh, that's a procedure of that. Okay, what can you expect? This is number four. What can you expect for your utilities? And so, uh, roughly, for all of your utilities, you figure about $100 a month, okay? The other thing is, be, let's say you're down here for three months, six months, whatever it is. Now, you've left that deposit with a real estate agent, okay? They may hold that and probably will hold that for two months because the utilities come in about every two months. So they need to hold it. Then if you leave them uh, an address or something like that, then they can uh, deposit or get that back to you. Or what I recommend, if you have a friend down here, let your friend pick up the uh, money. Tell them that you're gonna, your friend's gonna pick up the money for you. Five, what about doctors? Doctors down here for a uh, doctor's visit, you're gonna spend anywhere from about $25 
to maybe $35 for an office visit, depending on the doctors that you uh, see and uh, good quality doctors and that. They have a few clinics down here, just in case you needed a little more of an emergency situation, you could go to the clinic and then they have a good ambulance service here that they would rush you up to Guadalajara. It's gonna take about an hour, 40 uh, miles away, and then they would check you into a quality uh, private hospital there. Six, six is about medication. Okay, you uh, take high blood pressure, cholesterol, uh, whatever you take. Uh, just bring down your prescription here and all you need to do, you don't need to go see a doctor, you just go into the pharmacia and you show them your prescription bottle. You don't even need a prescription bottle. You can write it down on a piece of paper, show that to them and they will uh, give you the medication. A lot of times what I do, I take a picture on my phone of the bottle, of the medication and that it's probably like three or four years old, but they don't care. They just want to see what the amount is and uh, the, the name of the prescription. So you don't need to go visit a doctor and that'll save you that uh, deposit or I should say that office visit. Please don't go. We have more information for you. Well, this is part two of traveling and we're going to give you some tips on visas, transportation, water, eating food here, hiring a maid. Also in part one, you saw things about medical, doctors, medication, transportation, uh, how to rent a house, what to look for in renting a house, utilities, how to pay utilities, maid service. Seven. Seven. Okay, talk briefly here about visas. And uh, if you come down, you get a 180 day visa crossing the border, either you're driving or you're taking a bus across the border uh, by land, or if you fly in, okay, you'll automatically get a 180 day visa. Now don't do like this one gentleman here. He didn't realize that you had to have a visa. He took the paper they gave him and he threw it away. That's gonna create a problem when you leave the country. And so hold on to that piece of paper and you'll, you'll look at it and it'll be a 180 day visa on that. Uh, now remember, you have to leave the country. That's the basic one. Now we have some other videos, upcoming videos. We don't have them on now, but we're gonna talk about the next two levels of visa, a temporal and a permanent, and what it costs you for that. So you have to stay tuned for that. We don't quite have it ready yet. Eight. Okay, this uh, was a uh, complaint that a guy gave me down here. He said when he came across on the plane, they x-rayed his coming, you know, uh, into immigration. They x-rayed his luggage and stuff like that. Okay, and then when they put it up on the table, they opened it. And that made him a little agitated uh, that they would do that. But let me tell you the reason why they do that. They do not want you bringing in any new uh, clothing, any new products like that. So. They want to pay you they want you to pay the tax on that so don't do that if you have any new clothes and stuff like that take the tags off of them and then they uh you're not going to have them question you and talk about paying a tax on that so nine that's a nine there and what that is we're talking about transportation somebody just asked me this morning how do you get around okay what we do a lot we walk and that's a good way of losing weight. A lot of people lose a lot of weight down here because they're walking. The other thing is the bus and the bus. To call it, take the bus anywhere from a block to maybe uh, Chapala, but about five miles away, you're looking at about 35 cents. Now to take a taxi, I'm not quite sure in taxis, we don't take taxis, but with a taxi to go uh, maybe a mile to five miles, it's gonna cost you anywhere from $3 to $5 on that. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can uh, have a rental car. And they do rent cars down here. I don't know the price on rental cars that you'd have to investigate when you get down here. And you can do like us, we have a car, we drove down. And so those are the ways of getting around. And so uh, let's go to number 10. 10, okay, 10 is, what about the water here? Then we get that, that asked a lot. Okay, definitely we do not recommend drinking the water that comes out of the tap. 
uh, unless the house has a purification system in there and uh, then it's okay uh, now what we do is we buy bottled water and for a five gallon bottle of water it's like 35 cents that'll last a few days so that's what we do the other thing is when you're traveling drink the bottled water bottled waters are very inexpensive here they're like 10 cents I, I don't remember exactly but they're very cheap and uh, the other little tip we can give you when you're brushing your teeth don't use the uh, tap water take a bottle of water use it for that what I do when I take a shower it's not a little weird but I actually take a little mouthwash put it in my mouth and when I'm taking a shower then it forces me to keep my mouth closed that way I don't get any water in my mouth here so that's a tip anywhere you travel in the world uh, especially in a third world country 11 what is 11 11 is hey why not have a maid very reasonable down here treat yourself and to have a maid most people do you figure about four dollars an hour on the average for a maid down here and they will typically work about four hours in your house they can get it all cleaned up like that and uh, a lot of times what we do we leave a little cookie out a little coffee in the morning for the maid and uh, so if they're there four hours they can bring their own lunch if that but you, typically you don't need to do that for them if they're longer than that say you had them for eight hours in that particular case you may want to leave them uh, lunch there and also they typically will have their routine and they'll go around and clean it and you can show them what you want to have done so why not have a maid 12 what is 12 the 12 is food uh, now Lori goes every week and she buys all of our fresh vegetables at an outdoor market she takes it home she cleans it very well she uses vinegars and this little drops that you can get and uh, so that way everything is taken care of there now restaurants you go into restaurants well one of the things that people ask what about the ice in a restaurant well in Mexico it's illegal for them to serve anything except purified ice and so don't worry about the ice another tip is here or wherever you're traveling in the world uh, especially third world third world travel you uh, look at the turnover how many people are going in that restaurant and eating you want to go into ones where they're turning they're they're cooking that food they're selling it cooking new food and selling it that could be uh, on a little stand out in the street or in a restaurant so uh, that way you're not gonna run into any trouble again in there ask for bottled water uh, and then uh, most generally now at least here in Mexico in a tourist area or a resort area they're gonna serve you purified bottled water <clears throat> or should I say eat purified glass of water but to be safe get a bottle of water. To introduce you to Troy and Kelly here and they're from Texas yeah. and uh, Troy has been following Jerry Brown travels for how long now? Uh, probably close to a year. A year. Right? So I, I, uh, I found Jerry on YouTube and uh, I was just really impressed with the quality of the information that he provides and, and he does it in a fun way that uh, you know makes you want to come back and wait for the next video to show up every <laughs> you know every week. <laughs> oh, great, thank you, Troy. Yeah. That's, that's really great. Bang! We'd like you to subscribe, press on my picture somewhere over there. Yeah, somewhere in there you can press on his face. Pra Boom! That's it, you subscribe. Bang! And make a comment down below. Thanks very much. Jerry here. Laurie here, and thank you so much for watching our video. Thank you. We're here with Jerry Brown Travels. Laurie here. Jamie here. And Norman. Oh, they found Jerry Brown Travels. On the TV. <laughs> On the YouTube channel. Watch all of Watched them. Watched a third of them. We love them. Thank you. Make, thank make you. it a marathon night. <laughs>